Hey guys, Ben from Develop PHP again with another Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 edition video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about fading to a zoom. Um, you see this a lot in headshots when they'll be interviewing an individual and um, the picture will fade off into a storyline and usually there's a there's a voiceover narrative going on in the background, things like that. So what I've got here is I've got three shots. Now, I'm just going to drag and drop all three of these into Vegas. Now these are not an interviewing clip, obviously. These are just a couple of three short, quick videos of a rock fountain in my backyard. So I've got a what we're going to call a right-hand rock, a left hand, and a close-up. Now let's just say that we want to start from the left. We want it to zoom in to the water and then we want to show the right hand side so kind of a, a panning effect a swooping effect so what we need to do here is get these in line how we want them displayed and I'm simply dragging and dropping them where I want no big deal so we got left close up right alright so we can squeeze all these together and you can see I'm going to start this toward the end of the uh, first shot. And it's going to do a hard break into the close-up. And if we come out here to the uh, end of the close-up, then it does a hard switch to the right side. Well, let's make these fade into each other. It gives it a cool effect. Really easy. Simply grab one of the tracks that you want to fade into and just overlap it on top of the track that you have in place. Now you'll see a little timer here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this says um, 714 and that's seven, second, well, 7 seconds and 14 tenths of a second fade time between when it starts to fade and when the fade stops into the second portion of the video. So let's drag this back out. Seven seconds is quite a long time, actually. Let's, eh, let's go three. Let's see what that looks like. Now I'm just going to start this toward the end of the first one so you guys can get a, a visual. Very cool, right? Okay, and then we want it to fade out into the third portion of our video. We'll see, we were at 312 there, so we'll keep it r roughly the same there. <clears throat> and then we can pull in the two tracks on the outer portion just to shorten the thing completely. Alright, let's see what this does. Nice fade into the close-up. It fades out to the third one, and that's it. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you do a fade into zoom effect. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.